Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about switch case in dart programming so guys this is one of the alternatives of if else statement so we have the switch keyword followed by a variable expression so let's say we have the variable i over here and then what is happening is we are checking the value of i one at a time so let's say if the value of i is 0 we have case 0 and then if it matches i mean this value of i is 0 then this expression or the series of line of code will get implemented and then we have the break keyword to come out of this switch code that is these curly braces and then if the value of i is 1 it will match with this case 1 and then this expression will get printed and then we have the break keyword again and then let's say if it doesn't match this case 0 and neither it matches the case 1 so what will happen is it will go to this default and whatever expression we have over here that will get executed and then after the break keyword it will come out of the switch context and guys in this way the switch keyword will help you based on the value of i guys it is important to note that these values that is 0 or 1 these has to be a constant value whenever we are using this case keyword so let us understand this with the help of example so let's say we have a variable as i equal to 0 and then semicolon and then we have this switch keyword and then inside the brackets we have the value of i guys it is important to note that this is a variable expression we are not providing any relational operator or any condition over here we are just passing the variable over here and inside the curly braces we have cases then let's say the first case is 0 and then we print the value so let's say we provide it a string as the value of i is 0 in this case and then semicolon and then we have break keyword over here and then guys in the similar way we have another case let's say case 1 and then the same statement let's say we have print statement the value of i is 1 over here and then let's say we have a default case so we provide the default keyword followed by again the print statement the value of i is not 0 or 1 so neither it is 0 nor it is 1 in the default case so let me save this file and try running this code So as you can see the value of i is 0 since the value that we have provided is 0 over here. Let us change the value of i is equal to 1. So in this case what will happen is in the switch case we are taking the variable that is i and then case equal to 0. So no since the value of i is not equal to 0 this will not get executed and then the next statement that is case 1. So this will get printed and after the break statement it will come out of this switch context. So let us save this file and run this code. So as you can see the value of i is 1 that is this print statement got executed. Let us put another value as 2 over here. So neither it is 0 nor it is 1. So let us save this file and run this code. So as you can see the value of i is not 0 or 1. So it went in this default keyword over here and then this print statement got executed. Guys it is important to note over here that you can provide any number of case statements. It depends on you that how many case statements you want to provide and the expressions as well you can provide appropriately. And guys you can have this default expression as well. So in case the value of i does not match with any of the cases over here it can go in the default section and the default print value or any other expression can get executed. So guys I hope that you have got enough knowledge about the switch keyword with the help of this video. Please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on the upcoming videos as well. The next video that we are going to talk about is number methods in Dart programming. So stay tuned.